So good readings and welcome, strategists, to another episode of... Let's have a look at Urukol. Alright. Now that I've explained the basics in the previous episode, thank you for sticking around, let's actually begin the process of building stuff. Now, I think it's probably the best idea to uh, go for the uh, this one, so we can get an immediate bonus to uh, all our uh, Hakata agents. Let's just have a look. The, the old jungle gates is a good one to get for the... Uh, because it will take much more violence to capture it. And it will also not take all that long to finish. Let's see, this one will give us 100 love. I presume you get 100 love per turn. Alright, also, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot one last thing. Excavate. Basically, this world is old and has many relics buried underneath its cities. These percentages give you a chance, uh, show uh, where you have a chance of finding a relic every time you do use an excavation point. This keeps going up as you dig deeper, but it will also cost more as you go along. Um, I don't know if there's an infinite amount of uh, relics to be found. And exactly when it's good to have to stop, start, stop digging for uh, relics. We probably will not be using it all that much because we kind of need the labor, as it will always cost labor, to uh, dig for relics. So what will we do? Well, I need more labor. Can we trade for some? For a good price. Or do I want to just get some violence so I can defend myself better? Because this is kind of a good deal for me. I don't need history for myself, really. Alright, so I need some goods, because goods is the most common thing you can use to recruit labor. Apart from love and all that, but yeah. So we need loads of goods so we can buy labor. I wonder what it's like to have to recruit labor through fear, but yeah. So either goods or uh, love. I hmm. wonder what's over here. Um, I mean, we do want to this at some point. Getting some nurture points up in this valley would be useful. Yeah. Where's the best deal we can get? Oh, this is a terrible deal. And let's get some more violence to protect ourselves. Everyone takes their turn, simultaneously. Oh, look at that. They immediately start expanding. That's fine. That's not really a concern for us. Anything else? Can we trade for something useful? Alright, let's trade for that. I usually just want an equal trade or a better trade. If it's a lesser trade, there's not really much point in going for that, so... Let's recruit. So far everyone is content to stay where they are. Alright, let's spend a few turns building up our monument. Because we will keep getting more stuff over time. Alright, so we've got some trade fees. Can we trade for something? Alright, some secrets for uh, goods. I'll do that. Hmm. Uh, this is probably a fair enough trade.
So far, they're not. Nobody's really interested in going hard against me. looking for good deals now despite the fact that we're dealing with the cities uh, we do have an overall impact on our actions even in realms because at the moment we are still uh, mostly just minding our own business and just trading with opponents they mostly just like us uh, every trade action you do with other nations eventually improves relations Ever so slightly. I mean, we're not likely not gonna stop uh, being in conflict, but you know, it doesn't matter all that much. All right, so here we have the fist is going after uh, Gura's Mog. Will they respond? Now, I can't see uh, how much they need to do that uh, for, but all right, can I steal something useful? I don't want to waste all that much on this. Now, this city has storms, which means all actions on this city cost 50% more, which means capturing it will probably be very expensive. Let's not do that. Right, the Kroot. Anything useful for stealing. This is a fair deal. Stealing uh, generally makes other nations like you less, and it also reduces the uh, amount of prosperity in the city a little bit. Usually not that much initially, but if you keep stealing from a place, uh, obviously it'll go down. Yeah, we can sacrifice some fear. Ooh, severe flooding in two cities. Uh, flooding doesn't do all that much, but rather than using violence to capture a city, you now it requires depth. Basically, you need to buy build boats to capture a city. Alright, let's build up. Right, how is our landmark coming along? All right, twenty thousand left. All right, Palace of Eternal Light is expanding quite rapidly, and that's fine. Uh, a big deal in my strategy is mostly just to have the other empires do their own building, because even if they don't have a immediate cause to do it themselves, it is usually to their benefit to also build up their things because uh, their landmarks. Are usually also quite good like uh, having a, using the respond cost in the glowing jungle which is basically this area that will also be useful uh, this is make cities more loyal in that area capture cost reduced in paradise very nice and let's see what do these uh, capital city respond cost in the glass desert Infiltrate cannot critically fail. Useful if you want to use that a lot. Recruit yields plus 30% in the glass desert, which is useful because the glass desert is usually a fairly, fairly poor region to control. And so far, the people have left us alone. It means it is time to really start building up our army a bit more. You don't want to be caught flat-footed. I don't really have any places where I can really farm for depth. Uh, so... Anything to trade? It's worth my time. Yeah, this is a fair deal.
as for why I'm bothering with this uh, this particular landmark, well, one, it's in our capital, so it's likely not to be lost at any point. And getting a uh, extra bonus building on history is just useful because uh, you usually just want to trade this resource, so having more of it to trade is generally a good thing. Alright, anything I can steal that's worth my time. So far, people have been mostly been holding themselves uh, back to all stuff. Now, the map is not quite as static as it looks because during play, new factions will appear from uh, off the map. Uh, like, uh, there will be a, a returning faction from down here. There will be an invasion from this side. Uh, I believe at some point, some pirates will choose to go land on this coast somewhere. And there's also some cities over here that will decide, oh, we don't need this particular empire guarding us. We'll take them over. And all that. But we'll get a, a, notion, uh, a mention from the game when for that, something like that happens. But for now, we'll just stick to building stuff. Right. How is Eozo doing? Still negative prosperity. Yeah, I am ever so slightly worried that at any point the Fist will try to take some of my cities or uh, you will try to capture something of mine. And I don't want to get stuck in a protracted war yet. So for now I'll just stick to building stuff. Heavy storms, and nothing we can do, so we'll just leave it be. And anything I can trade for that's worth my time. Only care about getting more secrets. Anything worth stealing. That's probably worth it. City is defected. Yeah, that's... No. Alright, here comes the combat. He stopped me. That's fine. Cut that out. He's got barely any... Uh, level uh, means of resisting me, so... Right, if he's going aggressive towards me, then I'm just gonna be a little bit aggressive against him. Because where is where are the Hakatas over here? We do have some that we want to bring under our control because that'll improve our yields a great deal. I do need to make sure that I don't run out of uh, violence. Um, now, negotiate would be might be useful. I could just go for the capital. Yeah, let's just do that. And that's that. Right, we have got an earthquake in Ajossa. Right, it can be removed earlier if the prosperity is above zero. Now, the current prosperity is that. Let's nurture it a bit. And. We don't really have the means to capture. We really need to boost our uh, level of defense. Uh, 
And let's return to building. Which also gives us now access to some more cities. This is a fair trade. Hegemon has had an earthquake. Let's... Uh, we can't nurture it because we don't have enough machines. And nobody's nurturing... Uh, that's fair enough. Right. Nurture that capital. Yeah, what's our current uh, prosperity? It's minus eight. Yeah, the overall prosperity in our realm has reduced, been reduced to basically small numbers. Anything I can steal? Right there, the effect of earthquake goes away. Like me making a slight mistake. Right, anything I can recruit? And this is not currently a good deal. Uh, there's a, a slight discrepancy in what I can uh, have to pay and what I'm getting back is because uh, I've boosted the prosperity of the city. And it's not currently settled yet, so uh, let's focus on a town where I can get some equal trade or best trade. That's... Right, so the uh, Fernan is going in action against the uh, Fever Kingdom. That's fine. They probably will keep uh, duking it out because uh, this is a group of religious senates that want a couple of cities under their control and, well, they need to conquer all the way to over here, I think. Right. Recruiting more stuff. And how is the landmark coming along? Five more ticks of building. goods right well, nothing I can do over there and anything to trade I mean that would be a good deal overall but I don't really care about history I've got plenty of secrets at the moment. Let's let's trade those. Oh, they go again. And the landmark has been built. So now we get more history per turn. Alright, let's see if we can consolidate some of our backland. Now, equilibrium control has something to do with how much of a region you control. So that's something to keep in mind. And I'm just usually, I um, just prefer capturing because that's slightly easier. All right, so here we have our first emergence. 
Poison Crusade. A misunderstanding between a trade caravan and some poison eaters has spiraled desperately out of control. Now gangs of poison eaters are roaming the countryside and lynching anybody they feel like. A new movement has been born, and it's ugly. Periodically, you can purchase random citizens that do not belong to the poison eating culture. What the heck are poison eaters? Organ rats who have developed the habit of eating the poisonous flowers of paradise. Instead of killing them, this turns them in more aggressive. Organ rats are cuddly furballs, are curious, avaricious, unappetitively omnivorous, and not very bright. Placing one in a position of authority is generally a mistake. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. That's not very nice. But yeah, they will be a problem. But we'll deal with that next time. Thank you for watching. See you then.